Hey Libra! Thank you so much for tuning in for your August forecast. So as usual, I will be doing two readings for you, but I'm going to change up the format of the first reading. We're going to try it out. And you let me know what you think in the comments. If you prefer this, if you prefer the old way, I'd be very curious to hear. Okay, so let's see. What do you need to know this month, Libra? Libra Sun, Libra Moon, Libra Rising. Spirit, what does Libra need to know for the month of August? Libra. Libra Sun, Libra Moon, Libra Rising. What are the prevailing energies around Libra right now? Who are the characters around them? Influences. And what is Libra? Libra themselves bringing to the table. Spirit throws down a card. Face down. We'll see. All right. What are you experiencing right now? What do you need to know for your highest good? Highest good. Libra. Libra sun. Libra moon, Libra rising. Ready, ready, ready. All right. All right, Libra. Whew. How can Libra enjoy the most liberation, love, creativity, and joy this month? Beautiful. Look at you, Libra. Coming up right at the center of your spread as the Queen of Cups. Beautiful. Okay. Woof. All right. Libra, a lot on your mind. Okay, I'll grab you a couple bonus cards, Libra. Need a little clarification here. Okay. And like magic, your cards. <laughs> All right. So, Libra. I feel like you're a little in your head in August. Uh, okay, you're a lot in your head. Let's be real. Um, it's interesting because you are you are in your head, and spirit really wants you to get out. It's time to get out of yourself. Does that make sense? Um, you know, when we become very uh, self-centered and I don't say that with judgment Libra if you've been watching for a while you might know I have Sun and Libra myself so that is not spoken from a high horse that is to say that um, you know if you go and look at you know why do people in part at least aside from things like chemical imbalances which are very real but why do people experience anxiety and depression and especially in this day and age those two maladies really seem to be rising and I mean, they're both present here. Insecurity, feeling alienated, feeling left out, feeling exhausted, like mentally exhausted from going over and over and over the same kind of fight. And I feel that in part, the reason that these maladies are so on the rise is because people, we have become so self-focused and that is not to say necessarily narcissistic or vain, that is to say, we are caught up in our own stuff. Like, you know, not an original observation, but like social media and things like that, we are very much encouraged. Like, it's like, it's almost weird now. If you don't have like, well, why don't you have Instagram? Why don't you have Facebook? Like, what are, what are you hiding from? Um, it's become so normalized for us to have this curated vision uh, of ourselves and our lives. And we like, we project but maybe we're not understanding and interacting with the outside world because we're so focused on what is the image that we are portraying. It feels to me, Libra, like you kind of need to do something that is not your best, maybe not your natural uh, inclination. Maybe you need to grab a Scorpio friend or if you do have like Scorpio rising or Scorpio moon, you might have an easier time with this. You need to dive into the shit. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> I know, I'm talking to Libras, I'm talking to like the most gracious and the most polite and courteous sign. But the thing is, like, we cannot try, you can, okay? You can try to put some cosmetic, a smile, like, on this. You can try to put a positive spin on it, even, but I think that it will better serve you to be like, okay, I'm really anxious, or okay, I really screwed up, or okay, I'm really unhappy right now in this situation, job, relationship, whatever. Um, because as you can see, the Ten of Swords says there is something that you're walking away from this month, and this is at the center of your reading. This is the influence dominating your life for the next few weeks. But the good thing, the good thing about the Ten of Swords is it's the end to this Nine of Swords that you're experiencing within, which is the position that this is sitting in, is like what's going on within you. And then you have the Eight of Swords sitting in your future, okay? Like swords, 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 swords. It's very important to figure out what is making you feel held back, insecure, unable, um, because it feels like in the past you were on a pretty steady, like a nice steady groove of like, okay, here we go. I'm going to do this and then I'm going to do this and then I'm going to do this. Libra. Feels like for many of you, the anxiety or depression is around a relationship. And this could be romantic, but this could also be like a business partnership, um, a friendship even and it feels like you need to get to the bottom of something why am I feeling this way what is not working we again it's like a very human normal thing for us to want to like avoid and push down like the negative feelings negative in quote marks like fear depression anxiety but those things are messengers they're here to help us, not here to hurt us. It's We hurt ourselves by trying to ignore them. So this month, I want you to listen to your fear. Not be guided by your fear, but listen to it. Or your depression, or your anxiety. Sit and have a conversation with it. Does that sound crazy? You're the Queen of Cups this month. You are, Libra, one of the more compassionate, gentle signs. And the Queen of Cups, at her best and highest, is a healer, is someone who can go to the depths with other people, which is why I said maybe some of you might have like Scorpio placements in your chart. Spirit kind of keeps giving me the word Scorpio, so it's either like some of you have that, and for the rest of you who do not, seek out that friend of yours who may or may not be a Scorpio, but is the kind of person who can go there with you and not be afraid and not be intimidated and not be like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, and please don't be uh, about your own stuff. You're feeling a little bit cornered. That's the word that they're using. Feeling a little bit cornered, feeling a little bit trapped. And look, Libra, you need to remember how powerful you are. And this is what Spirit just said. You need to remember that you are CEO of your life. As a Libra, as the sign of the other, it is your natural tendency to like find yourself and your opinions, your desires, your likes and dislikes by balancing out with other people. It's like by knowing you, I know me better. That's kind of how Libra works. Um, time to shift that mindset around. Like it's time to be less how do I know myself and more about what do I do? You know, we're not our thoughts, we're our actions, Libra. What are your actions? And for many of you, I feel like you haven't been active and that's part of this building like cacophony of energy, like vibrating through you of like kind of potential energy that you keep shoving down. And that's like a big secret in life and in like even like practical magic, like all energy is useful energy. All energy can be productive. Your rage can be productive. Your depression can be productive. If you can think of them not as something to hate and despise and to hide from yourself and from other people, and you can, 
At first, just be maybe curious and open to hearing what they have to say, and then maybe even start to see them as allies. That's what's going to help you take your blindfold off. Like, okay, you know what? Like, my fears and my, my thoughts and my anxieties and worries about the future, they're not as scary as maybe I'm making them out to be. Maybe if I can just sit down, and this is what Spirit is showing me very literally, like, just take out a piece of paper and be like, I deeply fear this. I hate this. I, I don't want this. And then after you've kind of taken inventory, maybe notice how those things that you've been doing that were not good for you or those things that you've been feeling that were bad, how, how have they been productive? Or how can they be productive? If you fear failure, can you use that to push yourself towards success? If you fear love, can you maybe just as a first step allow that to push you to open up with the people that you are already close to and experience like a deeper love, a deeper friendship with the people that you do choose to have in your life. You may find that in opening your heart with the people that you can trust, you're able to open your heart a little more down the line with people you don't know yet and bring in some fresh energy, some new relationships. And speaking of fresh energy, I feel like there is the potential for a resurgence this month. You have some really actually beautiful cards for your horizons opening up ahead of you. I feel like you kind of need to get back to yourself in a way. Um, by taking actions, by doing activities that make you feel strong, that make you feel secure, that make you feel that remind you that you run your life, that you are CEO of your life. I wouldn't be surprised if when we do your fiercely focused spread, somebody like the Emperor or the Hierophant pops up because they're giving me this image of order, structure, like, and I mean, you even have the chariot here, which is a card similarly of taking control. And specifically, the chariot is all about what we've just been talking about. Like, there's a white horse and a dark horse to symbolize the conscious, what we know about, and the unconscious, the quote-unquote, you know, hidden fears, desires, drives. And when we can take them both and allow them to take us where we want to go, like if we can think of, like I said, not like, oh, I only ride this white horse because it's a white horse. You know, we have these bullshit... Even like the language is so binary. Um, if we only ever want to ride our white horse, then we're just leaving a beautiful black stallion in the stables unused and stamping. And like it's getting anxious because like it's supposed to be stretching its legs. It's supposed to be moving. It's supposed to be directing and creating some kind of motion in your life. But instead, you keep it hidden away because the white horse is what, you know, people in, out in the world think we're, we're supposed to be on. Do you know what I mean? Is this making sense, Libra? This is a very, like, interesting horse metaphor. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I have some equine-loving Libras that are watching this. But look, if you can use your fear and your depression and even, like, give them love and compassion, you can transform them into, you know, unacknowledged fears are anchors. Acknowledged fears are engines. Okay? Chariot. I'm gripping it. I'm going this way. I'm going. Like, I've chosen. I'm blindfold off. I'm going. Look at this, this Eight of Swords, and then I, I pulled a couple clarifiers to be like, okay, so if they can do the chariot, if they can take control, where is that leading? The Eight of Swords turns into the Eight of Wands. Inaction turns into an abundance of action and opportunity, okay? When you start moving, Libra, the universe starts moving with you. When you freeze, the universe abides. We attract what we emit. If you have been frozen and you feel like things in your life haven't been moving, consider how you might be freezing yourself and start taking some action. And if taking a action includes walking away from a fight or a person or a situation that is like you beat the dead horse into dust, then take that action. Because look at this. I love this. This Ten of Swords, whoop, cameras are backwards. This Ten of Swords, he's looking out over a mountain. You can see the sun is coming up. Yes, he's walking away from something barren 
and over and it's sad but he's walking toward a new sunrise and a new mountain range and then isn't it kind of interesting how this mountain range looks very similar and this is the end of your reading it's almost like you get to the other side and now you're celebrating the new day has begun in this card and your new vision like it's taking you somewhere you could have come in as anything Libra you could have come in as any card in the center of your spread but you must remember this month that you came in as a queen and whatever way you identify gender wise to come up as a queen is to come up as a master creator and to come up as the queen of cups is to be a master healer and intuitive be soft and compassionate and kind with yourself this month and with other people because that's going to bring you opportunities. Look what is hovering in the position representing what is around you. Someone is offering you a sweet, sweet opportunity, which is why you want to get friendly with your fear and anxiety so that you don't let them keep you from doing something or getting something that really has a ton of potential. It feels important for you to make a decision, Libra, about your worth and how you speak to yourself, which is mirrored in how you allow other people to speak to you. If you speak and look at yourself with kindness, then when other people don't look at you or speak to you that way, you will refuse it. You know what I mean? And I'm not talking about a minor complaint or like a little problem they have with you. That's perfectly acceptable. But if somebody speaks to you with disrespect, or disdain, or sarcasm, cynicism, unfriendly, unkind, you're not going to accept it the same way that before you might have internalized it if you were looking at yourself with kindness, okay? Okay, all right. So now let us see how that story interacts with your fiercely focused spread. And Libra, if you haven't been here before, this is just a quick five minutes, five minutes, five card spread to cap off your reading. And we're going to look at the archetype that Spirit wants you to know about most for this month, a theme. And then the action steps in the four different areas of your life, earth, air, fire, water, i.e. money and finances, creativity, spirituality, love and relationships, and the mind. All right. So let's see, Libra, in August, what are you working with? What archetype are you either embodying or needing to be aware of for your highest good this month? Spirit, what is it for Libra in August? Libra, Libra. Okay, Queen of Cups and them saying trust your intuition and then High Priestess. August feels like a month that is very introspective. The High Priestess says, watch and wait, trust your intuition. Um, Spirit, even as I say that, is reminding me that that Eight of Wands card is showing up in your future. The chance to get over your insecurities and then unleash like a flurry of activity and opportunity. So August, you may not see that flurry of activity and opportunity right away. At least not all of you. Some of you may. For those of you that don't trust, Watch and wait. Play it cool. Your time is coming. You're going to know when to take the action or the invitation will arrive of its own volition. And you're going to know if you allow yourself to know yourself fully, you're going to know which opportunities you want to take. You're going to know what's worth your while. So this is a month to consider your self-worth. And recognize how intrinsic it is you know like you think of other people as worthy so at least a baseline give yourself that same courtesy you know all right so we had an ace of Pentacles in your first reading but what else does spirit want to tell us about your money your work your resources business jobs what does Libra need to know in the month of August spirit for their highest good beautiful the Ace of Pentacles and now the Three of Pentacles. Do your work. 
like I said, Libra, I feel like some of you feel very held back. And for some of you, this may be manifesting as like procrastination. And this is saying just get to work. It's also saying show your work, like share it with other people, allow other people to edit or critique or add to it. So maybe some of you are going to be working in a team or start working in a team this month. Um, this is a very good sign that that Ace of Pentacles can manifest into something real. The Three of Pentacles is like an early win, an early milestone. Like, yeah, we're not, we haven't, you know, built the building to the roof yet, but we have laid a very solid foundation, like, and we've made a nice bit of leeway. Um, I'm feeling a little bit of money increase this month, just a little bit, but it feel, it does feel like an increase. It does feel like, um, also, maybe some of you are getting a little smarter with your money, like a little better about saving or a little better about investing. Um, and if that is something, this may be spirit, like affirming that this has been on your mind, that would be a wise thing for you to focus on this month, Libra. If it has like been something that's kind of floating around in the back of your mind, give that some consideration. Like, how can I build my wealth? How can I, you know, self-worth and net worth are connected in astrology and in life. Like, we typically allow ourselves to receive as much as we think we're worth. Um, you ever notice how sometimes, like, it would be nice if life operated on a who's good and who's kind, like, and that's who gets, you know, enough money and that's who gets resources. And if people who were evil or selfish or bad, you know, didn't get <laughs> what they needed. But life doesn't work that way. You ever notice how people who are extremely narcissistic and greedy tend to make a lot of money? They think they deserve it. There is no internal blockage standing in the way of them receiving that wealth or that attention or that whatever, because they're like, yeah, that's for me. Give it to me. Whereas some people are like, me? Oh, I couldn't. You know what I mean? No, no, give it to her. Like, you know, give it to him. I understand, Libra, but it's time. Mm. <laughs> it's time to shore up that self-worth and therefore shore up that wealth. High Priestess, just think about it. Harnessing that white and dark horse inside of you. Okay. So now let's look at your mind, your element, Libra, air, thoughts, words, messages. Is there a person or a situation? You had a ton of swords already, so what does Spirit want to give us as an action step? What can Libra do this month? What can Libra do in August for their highest good? Be honest. But be careful. Um, I feel like you're dealing with somebody who is very brusque and abrupt and immature. And they're the kind of person who can kind of sadly cut you to the bone with how like casually cruel they can be. So who is this very like cavalier, too cool for school, or just cold? You know, either they're too cool for school, kind of aloof, or they're just like the they just say whatever they want and they don't really think about the consequences or how harsh they might be. Um, that might be a person, the person that you're having to walk away with, I mean walk away from or deal with. Um, they might be, this is what Spirit just said, like an outward, a reflection of the inner, like, crit critic or self-doubt, self-hatred, self-whatever that you're experiencing, you know, our relationships and circumstances are mirrors for our inside. So again, in the same way they want you to think of like your fear, your depression, or anxiety as like a helpful messenger. If you can try to think of this person specifically, but really ideally everyone that you meet as like, okay, what am I supposed to get out of this? It's not that like everybody being your teacher doesn't mean everybody's nice. Like often, some of like the most important teachers we have are the people that treat us like shit because they force us to be like, this person's treating me like shit. I might deserve better than this. And then level up ensues, okay? So when you're dealing with that person this month, I would encourage you to even take it as like a nod and like a thumbs up from the universe of like, you are on path. Like you're ready to deal with this. Let's deal with this head on. Like, let's have this conversation. Let's have this discussion. Um, let's deal with this. But the person is petty, so I want to tell you it's not a conventional kind of like, 
if you're gonna even win quote unquote an argument with this person it's not gonna feel like a win it's more like they might finally dismiss themselves because the five of swords in your first reading said that you're dealing with some petty sort of losing battles or just like battles that aren't worth fighting but battles that even if you win you're not gonna feel like you win so don't go all out don't comment war might just be a dismissal okay you tell me let me know comment <laughs> okay all right libra now let's look at your heart love relationships of all kinds spirit might want to highlight romance or friendship or family or even a particular person that you may feel very deeply for so what does Libra need to know, Spirit, when it comes to their heart, their emotions this month? Wow. Okay. This is nice. I like this. This is kind of like, ooh, because you came up as the Queen of Cups. So, you know, the Two of Cups was hovering over your reading before, and when a Queen and a King of the same suit come up, I often see that as, like, a lot of potential for a love match. And if not a love match, like I said earlier, like, about the Two of Cups, if it's not that kind of partnership, it's another kind of partnership that is like, this works. We match. Like, we have similar vibe, we have similar um, aspirations, we understand the way that, that each other operates. The King of Cups operates also from the soul and from his feelings, but it's a very, you know, the Knight of Cups might be like, my feelings, whereas the King of Cups is like, so I've really thought about it, and these are my feelings. Like, it's it's very emotionally intelligent, very steady. Um, I like this energy. This is very reliable. This person is like an ally. So is this your partner? Is this a best friend? Is this a new potential lover? This is somebody who is close by you who can really get with you and speak your language. And I feel like speak to them. They might be the one when Spirit was talking about like, get out of your head and like, you know, speak and engage with people. Engage with the King of Cups. Might be fun. Okay. Finally, Libra, let's see what's lighting you up. What is charging you up, warming you? Is it a challenge? Is it a person? Is it an opportunity? Is it a creative idea? Is it inspiration? What does Libra need to know for their highest good in the month of August when it comes to getting fired up? Chase your passion. Libra, that's what they just said very strongly. Like. The movement, that Eight of Wands, that's a coming, okay? Like, if you're not ready to chase your passion at the beginning of the month because you're like, look, I'm, I'm too exhausted from needing to walk away from this bad situation, I feel like you're going to be, by the end of the month, acting with renewed vigor. Like, I know what I want and I'm going after it. And my one caveat with this, Libra, would be, like, I'm, I'm happy to see the Three of Pentacles kind of balancing that because the Knight of Wands can be kind of like a quick fire passion, like... <gasps> Oh, no, I'm over it. Like, oh my god, I'm do this amazing uh, board. And then turn around and run off in another direction. So, you know, you can be a little bit of a dilettante sometimes, Libra. Um, make sure that you have the follow through. So that's why, you know, the Three of Pentacles is saying it's important for you to plan and edit and stuff like that and get other people's input. And if somebody's like, that's crazy, you're going to burn out if you do that, then, you know, scale it back a little bit and be willing to listen, especially that King of Cups. That person might have some really great insight for you. Um, so I'm happy to see that it's like definitely the passion is returning and overtaking this fear when you deal with your internal and external uh, representatives for anxiety, depression, worry, okay? Every procrastination, basically anything that involves overthinking to the point of like, now I'm I'm held up. I'm stagnant. I'm not. I'm not going anywhere. It's time for action to come from all of that thought. Okay, thought, action. Okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here, Libra. I really hope that that is helpful for you. If you have questions or you have comments you want to share, please let me know below. And I just want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, everything that you do, it really helps and I really appreciate it. I feel it, I feel it right in my bones. <laughs> so thank you and if I don't see you in another video, Libra, I hope I see you in September. <laughs>